then the very next thing you need to do the moment you arrive the uk is to get a job start applying for job apply for job apply for job apply yes for jobs hey guys my name is comfort gideon and you're welcome to jackpot decoded if you are new here please click on the subscription button below to subscribe to this channel and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back yeah so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with us some essential things you need to do the moment you arrive in the uk so if this sounds like something you're interested in do well to subscribe to this channel watch this video to the end and turn on your notification bell yeah so let's get started <music> So the very first thing you need to do the moment you arrive in the UK, in fact, this one is not even the moment you arrive in the UK. You should have started doing it the moment you got your visa. Yes, because it's intense, especially if you are a family, if you are not single, like if you're a family of two, three, four, and so the very first thing you need to do is to start looking for your accommodation, like the very moment you see your visa to the UK. Yeah, this is so important because it's crazy, especially if you're a family like you should start applying booking for your accommodation i know how hard it is for especially families to get accommodation in the uk right now but the earlier you start the better for you <laughs> yeah so um i know we've made a video where we shared how to get temporary accommodation i'll put the link somewhere up there so you can get access to you can get to watch it so that if you don't get permanent accommodation before you come to the uk you just book a temporary accommodation where you can stay until you get your own um your own permanent accommodation yeah so the second thing you need to do or the next thing you need to do the moment you arrive in the uk is to get a uk sim card yes this is so important because the moment you step foot in the uk like um when you enter the uk the sim card you had before might not work again like the network might not be available here and even if it's available here the rate is crazy like it's very expensive to make an international call per minute it, you know what even per second it will be so expensive so you need to have a uk sim card a uk number where you can um call that you can easily make calls and um browse if the need arises okay so that is so important yeah the next thing you need to do the moment you arrive in the uk is to collect your brp your brp is your biometric residence permit and usually the location for your collection will usually be in that letter that comes with your visa right if you're an international student it, it will normally be your school or your post office so do well to check the letter to check for the location of um the collection of a brp and do that within the first 10 working days of your arrival in the uk because if you don't collect it within that period of time it will be returned back to the home office and you won't want that to happen one important reason why you need to get your brp as soon as possible is because you need your brp for virtually everything you need to do even if you are going to look for work if you are going to open an account or whatever you need to do basically sometimes even to get an accommodation you need to to, to um, show them your brp the next thing to do when you arrive in the uk is to open a local bank account open a uk bank account this is very important it is very important um, to open a uk bank account you can open several bank accounts like Barclays, like lloyd um and a very instant and quick one you can open it um revolut i actually did that too you can actually open it on um on your smartphone is just to click on the link and follow the prompt and before you know it a couple of minutes you have a uk bank account so i will put the link in the description of this video for you to click and just open your bank account and for a bank like lloyd's bank you can also download their app on your phone and follow the prompt to open the account but the thing with this account is that you might you will need to go to the nearest branch of the bank that is closest to you to submit um, a form of identification like your BRP for example to successfully complete the process of your account opening with the bank and then when everything is done your um, card will be your card and then the pin for your card will be mailed to your address the very next thing you need to do the moment you arrive in the uk is to apply for your ni number ni number is your national insurance number it's 
very very important all you need to do is to go to the um government website the uk government website and just search for read and follow the prompts and before you know it from the comfort of your home your application is done at the end of your registration a reference number will be sent to you pending the time um, you your ni number will be ready it usually takes about four weeks for you to get an ni number but in the interim upon the completion of your registration a reference number will be sent to you that you can be using while waiting for your ni number the next thing you need to do upon your arrival in the uk is to register with a gp a gp is a general practitioner is a medical practitioner that you go to when you have health issues when you come down with illness or something but you won't want to do that or you won't want to start running health as skelter when you fall sick so it's better you just go and register with a gp the moment you arrive in the uk for um for your own good yeah then the very next thing you need to do the moment you arrive in the uk is to get a job start applying for job apply for job apply for job apply yes for jobs it's so important to apply for job and start making money in pounds because you spend money on a daily basis on almost everything like on lights on everything like the moment you are you step foot in the uk you start spending pounds already so um you need to start applying for jobs you can apply for jobs on sites like um, indeed on linkedin on charity jobs and all of that so i will drop the link to those sites in the description box below for you so that you can just click on them submit your cv and make applications for the job positions that you are interested in and it's as simple as that if you qualify the employers will call you and schedule interviews with you and in no time you'll get a job and start working in the in the uk so that's basically it that's it thank you so much for watching this video today and if you've watched this video to this point and you've not subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for please click on the subscription button below to subscribe to this channel and if you have any questions or um videos you need me to do for you, you can drop them in the comment section and i promise you i will answer all of your questions i will reply all of yeah i'll answer all of your questions i'll reply all of your comments and then i'll make videos for you on topics that you require me to so until i come your way again i remain comfort gideon bye bye